hi in this presentation we will discuss about cmc in drug regulatory affairs a simplified overview of cmc cmc or chemistry manufacturing and control cmc is referred to as quality in ics guidelines module 3 of ICH CTD contains all quality or CMC data scientific quality of CMC determines success in approval by agency one should develop CMC section of NDA or BLA based on quality by design and by following ICH and FDA regulations and guidelines. CMC is a multifunctional section and there is a need for multifunctional team consisting of scientists from drug substance synthesis department, formulation department, analytical department and regulatory department etc this team is responsible and accountable for putting together cmc section during developmental phases of drug cmc section is about 15 to 20 percent of nda or new drug application but it often becomes a reason for approval delay and for ENDA CMC is about 80 to 90 percent of ENDA application bulk of the information in ENDA is about CMC or quality data because clinical data is limited to only biology and Biogland studies measure data in ENDA is quality or CMC data. CMC is important for post approval life cycle management also. CMC consists of three disciplines synthetic or fermentation chemistry, second is analytical chemistry. And third is formulation chemistry. CMC continuously changes. CMC is moving target. CMC continuously changes with phases of drug development. In phase one, CMC is small part with lab scale manufacturing experience of drug substance and drug product with simple analytical methodology and in phase 2 CMC section evolves to pilot scale manufacturing specification and analytical methodology becomes more sophisticated end of phase 2 usually becomes pivotal point in drug development since at this point decision and major commitments are made as to whether to go with phase 3 clinical development and ND application pilot during end of phase 2 in CMC section there is a major shift in planning and execution drug substance and drug product manufacturing needs to be shifted to commercial manufacturing side for commercial scale manufacturing specifications and analytical methodology need to be upgraded and finalized cmc of nda or bla should contain all relevant development information that bridges phase 1 to phase 3 data 
for NDA BLA submission. CMC information during various phases. CMC development from pre IND through phase 1, 2, 3, and NDA and AND application determines one's success or failure. Pre IND phase. In pre IND phase, preliminary solubility in various solvents, stability. Structural elucidations and characterizations are determined, which becomes basis for future development. CMC information from this stage becomes basis for development pharmaceutics. And as the development progresses, additional tests are carried out. NDA phase 1. During this phase, main emphasis is on safety of volunteers and patients. And sponsors is required to make connections between preclinical material and proposed clinical material from impurities and viability point of view. If preclinical material like drug substance and drug product has any impurity with safety implications, then agency will want to know more about it. They may ask for more data. At IND submission time, a very limited stability information is required and a commitment to generate concurrent stability data during clinical trial phase and reporting of that data will be sufficient in most cases. Analytical methods should be capable of determining assay, impurities, etc. with specificity, accuracy and precision. But formal validation of method is not required at this case. Now CMC information during NDA phase 2 and 3. During these phases, CMC information that supports strength, identity, purity, quality, and potency is generated. Drug substance and drug products are optimized. Viability of drug product is established. Primary stability data of drug substance and drug product are generated. Various quality by design parameters of, for drug substance and drug product are introduced in development usually changes to cmc such as optimization of manufacture or synthesis of drug substance analytical methods drug product new stability data etc should be submitted in annual reports ind amendments can be used to update agency on progress on cmc and identification of any critical issues and propose solution for those issues during phase 2, drug substance and drug products are produced in large lab to pilot scale. Drug substance synthesis and manufacturing, drug product formulation and process, analytical test methods are fine-tuned and principles of quality by design and process analytical technologies may be introduced and implemented during phase 2. CMC has to match the increased clinical activities in phase 3. CMC section should focus on combining information and data from all three phases and bridging those data with future commercial product data. CMC development focus for NDA or ENDA approval success, one should focus on following. Development of CMC based on quality by design and process analytical technology. So one should develop CMC data based on quality by design and process analytical technologies. 
application of ICH and FD CMC regulation and guidelines. One should follow ICH and FD guidelines while developing CMC data. Bridging of phase one to phase three CMC data for successful NDA submission. Preparing sound scientific CMC information for regulatory submission. So these are the four main focus points. Developing CMC information based on quality by design and process medical technology following ICH FDA guidelines, bridging of phase one to phase three data and preparing scientific CMC for submission. CMC section of NDA establishes approved condition for manufacturing and testing of drug substance and its doses form and it is important post approval commitment and R&D department is important player in this. In post approval phase, regulatory affairs is responsible for managing changes to these approved conditions. If there is any change in these approved conditions, then regulatory affairs department should coordinate and guide the manufacturing for any changes as per regulatory requirements. Marketing and manufacturing departments are important players during this phase. CMC post approval changes. NDA approval often results in number of post approval commitments that must be fulfilled, including statutory requirements for annual reports and regulatory affairs as to ensure their timely implementation. Post approval CMC changes in manufacturing process or analytical method of drug substance and drug product may have validation implications. Implementation requirement for CMC change may include validation of manufacturing process and analytical methods, even if no submission requirements for change. The validation documents should be available for every inspection to support implement change. CMC post approval changes submissions, types of submissions, prior approval supplement for changes with substantial potential to impact product quality or product strength, identity, potency, quality and purity. Prior FDA approval is required before implementing such changes. Second type of supplement is CBE 30 day that is change being affected 30 day wait for changes with moderate potential to impact product quality and in this category one has to wait for 30 days before implementing the change after submitting the change detail to FDA and FDA during these 30 days will evaluate the changes and if there is no concern after 30 days the changes may be implemented. If there are concerns the FDA will communicate with the sponsor. Third category of post approval changes supplement is CBE zero day change being affected zero to weight. And these are for changes with moderate potential to impact product quality. And these changes can be implemented after submitting the supplement and on receipt of supplement by FDA. Fourth category of post approval changes submission or supplement is through annual report. These are for changes with low or minor potential to impact product quality. And these changes can be implemented immediately and these can be reported in annual reports. That's all in this presentation. Thank you very much.